water pollution and its control. In this module, you will learn what causes water pollution and how it can be controlled. More than two-thirds of the Earth's surface is occupied by a unique liquid, water. Water is unique as one cannot imagine life without it. However, water is constantly being polluted by several human activities. Water pollution starts from households. In households, water is used for cleaning, bathing and washing. The waste water from such activities flows into the household drainage channels. The household drainage channels are connected to the main drainage system that ends in a nearby water body. This way water gets polluted. The industrial waste materials are discharged untreated into nearby water bodies thereby leading to water pollution. Excessive use of pesticides and chemical manures in agricultural fields also causes water pollution. These can run off into water bodies during rainy season thereby contaminating water. Pesticides and chemical manures can also seep through the soil to pass into the underground water thereby polluting it. Since water is a precious resource we must prevent it from getting polluted. Let us check out some methods to control water pollution. The most important method to control water pollution is to avoid emptying drain water and dumping garbage in water bodies. The second method is to properly treat wastes and chemicals from factories before releasing them into water bodies. In this module you've learned water pollution is the contamination of water bodies by substances that are harmful to living organisms. Water pollution is caused by emptying of dirty drain water into water bodies, dumping of garbage into water bodies, flowing of industrial waste into water bodies, seeping of pesticides and chemicals through the soil into underground water and spilling of oil in seas and oceans. Water pollution can be controlled by not emptying drain water and dumping garbage in water bodies, treating chemicals from factories before allowing them to flow into water bodies, limiting the use of pesticides and chemical manures, and avoiding oil spills in seas and oceans.